it's a bit of a long story, but my book originally had a different publisher and then that didn't work out and then I had another publisher. So this is actually number number three for Inside Out, which is crazy to even think about. Oh, wow. Um, but after the the second time, I was I was sort of like, well, does, you know, d- does anybody have anything open right now? And uh, I had been just casually chatting with uh, Caitlin Marceau, and she talked about how great Andrew was. And I was really hesitant at this point to to go with anybody because, you know, this is, this is my baby. So <laughs> I Your I didn't want it. Baby. <laughs> my goop baby. <laughs> I didn't want anything to get messed up ag- again. And she said, no, Andrew's, Andrew's great. You know, I trust him with all this stuff. And he, he really liked it. And he told me a very detailed plan of how he was going to uh, promote the book. And I was like, okay, well, I feel pretty, pretty positive about this. And he's always been really great with um, my, my pronouns and all that kind of stuff. So I never felt um, uncomfortable with you know some sometimes it feels a little uh straight hetero kind of in the horror field but sure. it's he's very open to it and for other marginalized people i would just say like if you know any other writers who are kind of in the same lgbt circle as you might would talk to them and ask them about publishers and what their experiences were like 